Wabam. Here we go. So we see both teams coming out. Pretty typical starts for both sides. We're gonna see both teams set up. No early invades, it looks like. Although we see the Sivir and the Nunu facing each other. Maybe we'll see Sivir get some cheeky damage off. Getting into top lane. Lots of pings coming out. I felt like I, uh... Oh, I guess you can't disable the pings. That's cool. Oh, wow. Gonna be getting into this game shortly. Not too much going on. Just typical setups. Yep, just waiting out for uh, jungle. That's a cool new new skin. Yeah, that's one of my favorite ones, honestly. The noises and the animations for it are really nice. It's like a robot. Like, I don't know. Simple, yet cool. Some harass coming down from the Velkaz and the Corky. Yeah, the Velkaz gets some pretty good damage. But... We see Nami starting her poke early on the Leona. Some poke coming out from Sivir. Orn gets some damage. Orn gets some nice damage off of Zion. Zion trading a bit in return. Orn's definitely doing pretty well with this early, though. Taking a Yeah, if you can get that first blood, that'll definitely reciprocate um, some of that CS gain for SRU. And Lucian and Nami hit level 2 first, and Leona and Sivir are gonna go very aggressive. Leona E not landing. Harass coming out from the Lucian, and he's actually trading out, and Jillen takes a lot of damage. Yeah, top lane's having a lot of damage coming out from Shivana. A level 2 gank actually coming out. As she heads towards her red side. Not too much going down. Yeah, top lane just Nunu, it out still. New looks to be taking the scuttle, maybe. Could be. I should use Bali and he's getting Wait, shoved. Not too much for them to do. New new positions towards mid. Might, might try and go for that health pause. Spending quite a bit of time mid lane. I think that's going to be a point of interest for Wisconsin University. Take that back. The Leona goes in bot lane. The Sivir spell shields the Nami bubble. But he's still getting a traded. Heal coming Kirk out. Down. Flash on Nami and Lucian going down. The ignite from Leona and the ignite from Nami. A lot of summoners burned. No summoners left on the side of Wisconsin University bot. Lane. But both SRU bot lane members have their flash still available. So we could see something come down when. SRU returns to bot lane. Orn gets some more damage in. Did some nice harass off on the Scion. So he's running a bit low on mana now. Some nice harass. Yeah, the Scion does have some pretty good mana left, so. This could be it, actually. Orn might actually kill him here. Flash yeah, coming wow. out from Scion, barely living. Not not great plays, and uh, the Orn could get some damage. And the could Orn's actually, actually tanking Ooh. tower, flashing for, and he's the actually going to turn. die to the Scion. Oh my gosh, he was too greedy. Orn almost like executed there. Almost gave his life to the tower. Darn. Just like that, the tides have turned for SRU. First blood coming out for the top lane. Nunu getting a gank off bot lane and a TP coming down from SRU. Orange shows a bot lane. Going in, he could actually get the Nunu. And the 
It's and Chillin gets the kill onto the moon. It's gonna be really Great nice. Push in from That's has a nice wave coming into the bot lane tower. I feel like they don't want to push on the tower though. They're gonna go for this really? early infernal. Shana's definitely got some really good early dragon mech. That's gonna be an easy drag for the side of SRU. Looks like their dragon control is gonna be on point again this game. Gellin, who actually got a nice um, long range damage. Yeah, he managed to snipe the Nunu kill there. It looks like mid lane's doing a bit better on the side of SRU this I think so. Was it mid lane that got taken down? No, it wasn't. It was, it was mid lane that had a bit of trouble with the Irelia game. That's true, yeah. Oh, and now some top lane aggression. Again, how the tides have turned, but Belkaz actually does really great damage. Maybe you could try and go for the game. We see some Leona going in here, and Sivir not quite finishing off the Lucian. Ami's gonna heal him up a bit so he can stay. Again, the Gillen and Firebob duo just going at it. It seems like almost all of the great plays, well, I shouldn't say almost all, but um, most of the, the plays that we're seeing are, are from Firebob and Gillen. We see some trading coming out, and the Cyanaut comes out onto the... Uh-oh. ...comes out. Actually Trying missing the Cyanaut. Yeah. And the Cyan takes down Orn here. So that's now two kills for the Cyan. The Shivana goes to hold top, but actually taking quite a bit of damage or something. Let's hope that she doesn't get taken down either. Shivana actually has to back off of the tower to avoid dying. Nunu's coming in for a gank bot lane. Seems like a repeat of last time. <laughs> he manages to land a snowball. This time, Wisconsin's gonna take down Firebob. Wisconsin's mid laners come down here too. They managed to take down the Leona. Sivir's still gonna tripping. Get taken down too. Down. The heal goes down. And this is really not working out for SRU right now. Yeah, SRU bot lane goes down. And especially with the CS Orton's difference top lane. And it looks like Wisconsin University might go for some early turret plating here on the bot lane tower. I think they might actually be able to get the first tower if they have enough players. No, they won't, they won't be able to get the tower. As they use oh, mid laners yeah. down, and turret plating makes it a lot stronger early. I, don't, I didn't see Velkaz pushing in actually. <laughs> Still a lot of aggression from top lane, even though there is a pretty big CS difference. Ugh, the blue buff going over to SRU's mid lane. Nice perk to Shivana is she doesn't really need the blue buff for the mana region. So I can go over to the mid laner pretty early. The Corky's rotating up top, maybe getting a gank off there. Bot lane getting some nice turret plating. Very true, very true. They want to reciprocate what happened um, just a couple minutes ago. And they were taking down bot lane. And Velkaz might be getting collapsed on here. Going for the new new. Oh. Could get the new new. Oh, not quite taking down. Oh, oh takes no. down the new new with the Q snipe. Very nice. Using his ult very effectively. And the Ona goes straight for the lane. Nami, and the Nami goes down. They're actually gonna back off from that. Could go in again. See some nice plays on the side of SRU. Yeah, again, how they're able to rebound from um, the bot lane. Definitely great to see. Leona missing her route. That might have proved fatal for her, actually. Mm 
It looks like bot lane knows that Nunu is there for another gank. Dragon is coming up quite soon. So Wisconsin University might look for some drag control to try to secure this next Drake. I think SRU is going to try and contest that though, but they don't have a whole lot of players. They have Leona and Shavara right now. With Orange TP coming up momentarily. Nunu's going to go in. Actually it is up. That's just, I'm not looking at it right. Orange TP is available. Shivana is almost going to get targeted, but Nunu's going to back off. I getting pushed back, but now both teams have gathered. SRU knows this. Valkyra's ult coming out, Nami ult comes out, and Orange TP is going to get lots of damage taken down. The TP comes out from Orn, the Orn ult comes out, and the oh, Orn ult connects with Nunu. Snipe. And the Orn connects with the Nami, the Nami goes down. The Velkaz gets a double kill. Sivir has to flash. Corky goes over the wall for the Sivir. Flashes. Does get taken down. But it'd be really nice if they can get this. Ion is on the run. Orn, Velkaz, and Shivana are still pushing for this. They really want the kill. Yeah, they really do want it. The CS difference right now, top lane. Velkaz ran. It goes in. A little too clumsy. I can understand why they'd want to get that kill, but... Pretty even trade running. coming out from both teams here. Ugh. Wisconsin University losing their Nunu and Nami, while SRU manages to lose the Valkaz and Zivir in that fight. Dragon is here. Wisconsin. Both teams still looking for the dragon. You might it's be looking be for a gank on bot lane here. Don't realize the flank from behind. You know and Nami are coming in from behind. Lucian's fighting Sivir. But a lot of damage is going down. down. Firebob could actually do some good work. And the Corgi rotated down and finishes off the Sivir. Is just not really fire of Bob right going now. for the Nami. Nami flashes it. Oh, and Leona goes down to Lucian. And Valkaz is fighting the Lucian. Or the Nunu, I mean. And the, Nu and the Shivana goes in, secures oh, the, the Nunu. Corgi Nunu. goes in, actually. The Valkaz goes down to the Lucian ult. That's and Wisconsin University is looking to secure this dragon. Yeah. Top lane still contending between each other. And it looks like uh, things are returning to normal a little bit. As normal as they can be, that's, that's, uh, that's what I should say. Lanes seem to be going back to farming. Not too much going down right now. Yeah, I think SRU needs to make up for that CS difference, otherwise it's going to be really hard for them to push in. A nice poke coming up from the Velkaz, nearly taking... Now she's following. It seems to be really aggressive, this game. But I think that's exactly what you were mentioning early on. With the Sivir. Yeah. Right now, we see a 4-0 Corky and a 4-0 Lucian. And I'm interested to see how SOU decides to deal with this. Orin actually ulting the wave. Don't Currently think he's going to want to go in on that. No, he's probably going to have to back here. Some he's nice trades out, coming from on both bottom. teams. Leona ults, but now has to run away. 
I swear you cannot keep up. Valkyrie's is. Oh, the Nunu is gonna go for the Valkyrie's. The Shaman is holding top lane for uh, against Scion. And Valkaz is getting collapsed on by the Corky and the Nunu. Kind of stuck in the enemy jungle with no place to go. Valkaz actually manages to get over the wall. Scion ult collides onto the Shivana. Shivana ults out, but she actually goes down to Scion. Leona gets caught by an Ami bubble. Nothing happens though. And it looks like Wisconsin University is sieging top. Velka's ult came out. There's Some still damage is going down. Low health for the Nunu. Nunu actually restores quite a bit of health as a Q there. And it looks like Wisconsin University managed to get the top new snowball coming down, Nunu connecting to the, the Orn. And they're looking for this. But they back off. Interesting. I thought that they would have been able to go off on that. No, they're actually quite worried about that Valkaz damage. Yeah, I think... Yeah, that Valkaz is definitely going to be a, a problem for Wisconsin. And we see some high yeah, damage coming out from the pollution. The Sivir actually going down to Lucian there. The Nami landing on Nami taking two tower shots, half her health. And we're looking to see Lucian be a big threat again this game, except on the enemy team this time. Can I be putting on some more tower I thought tower is going to go down to the side of Wisconsin University. So it's now two towers that University of Wisconsin has taken down. I sorry you yet to take down one. But early game, it did look like they were going to have the upper hand. We could be seeing a possible third game if SRU doesn't pick up the pace. We do have to remember, though, that SRU has really good wave deliver. So it could be very hard for. Wisconsin University to siege down a lane. True. I did not think of that. It looks like both teams are playing around mid a bit. Nunu coming in with a snowball. Not connecting with anyone. We have five Wisconsin We're University players Wisconsin mid. Wisconsin University. I think they're gonna go for a team fight here. It looks like they're looking for the next dragon coming up in five seconds. This one's gonna be an infernal, and it's going to be absolutely huge for them, because it'll even out the damage between them and SRU. SRU managed to pick up a mid tower, and the Scion manages to get an ult off of the middle of its. And the Orn opens down, and it looks like Leona goes down, and the Orn is going in, and the Sivir is getting some nice damage off. Corky flashes in for the Sivir. The Corky goes down to the Sivir. Sivir manages to live. Minami goes down. The Velkaz is fighting the, the Nunu. Takes down the Nunu, and the Orn manages to finish off the Lucian down in River. The Scion's still alive, maybe taking down the Shivana. Three members of SRU really low, looking to fight Scion, maybe. Sion quite healthy himself. Yeah. He is. Overall, okay. no losses, or one loss on the side of SRU, but Leona going. I, yeah, I was actually surprised I, that University of Wisconsin didn't actually pick up any more. The University of Wisconsin losing four members. Nami's gonna be rotating back towards bot, possibly. JK. Maybe so those for bounties for the bounty for Lucian went over to the Yorn, and the bounty for over to the Sivir. We're gonna see nice chunks of gold in their pockets now. 
And I don't think we see too many CS differences. It looks like the blue buff is gonna go over to Shivana this time. And the Valkyrie is out. Looks like Leona's clearing a few wards in the river. Sivir is currently by herself top lane, looking probably for The members of SRU in Wisconsin University are hanging around mid lane. It looks like SRU is trying to maybe clear up a few towers and bot and top. Maybe get a little bit off. Yeah, I think that would definitely even out the playing field for them. Looks like this tower might go down for Sivir. Scion shows up, but... Oh, Gillen. Who knows? Not, not quite getting the tower. Scion showing up to stop it. But it looks like Sivir and Leona are top, while Nami and Lucian are bottom to deal with each team's top laners. Nami going into SRU's jungle, getting a ward down, finding the control blue. Velkaz goes over the wall, the Ornal comes out, the Velkaz comes out. Velkaz just annihilates the Nami. Currently has five kills right now. Amazing place from him. When we see the Nunu get Leona ulted, the Scion comes in oh, and gets... Oh, Jesus. The Nunu gets deleted, the Corky comes in, the Leona goes... The Sivir goes down to Corky, but then the Corky goes down and they're looking for Scion. Oh, I think they're actually going to be able to get Scion. That'll be really and great. Actually... And the Scion's taking a lot of damage and he Woo! does... Down. And it looks like Leona and Velkaz have to... You need to deal with the Scion, make sure he doesn't kill them. Amazing. Nami show up. It was great that they were able to get that, especially they got the Nunu too. That was a nice 1-4-3 was... trade there for the side yeah. of SRU. Definitely coming back. Faux show. They lead with one kill extra. And Orn manages to get the bot tower as well. Damn, so now they actually have an extra tower. And they are going to be well, going for mid tower. Well, oh, the mid, sorry, yeah, the mid tower Wisconsin. is going to go down at Wisconsin <laughs> University. I was thinking blue team like last game, uh, how SRU was on blue team. It got me mixed up, man. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like the towers are going to get evened out now. The yeah, very even playing fields as far as towers are concerned. We see the death cap gets finished on the Velcro. We're gonna see a lot of damage come. The essence where you were finished on the Corky. And three of the SRU players have bounties. So. Yeah, after the past couple of fights, we're gonna have to be careful with the SRU members. I think you said another track Oh, Velcaz uses his ult. Might get the new. Nearly taking down the new. But Nunu's gonna have to back. He won't be able to contest this. Nunu really hasn't been having it this game. And this is gonna be another Infernal Drake, possibly going over to the side. Of SRU. Oh, looks like SRU is gonna drag it out from Pit. Trying to make it a little harder to steal. Valkaz manages to secure the dragon for SRU. Hooray! That's going to be two Infernals on the side of SRU now. You can see that damage just uh, just amazing right now. And SRU is actually leading in gold here by about 2k. Yeah, I think after that last big fight, they, uh, they really held out with the CS difference leading with that 2k. Could see maybe another team fight. Yeah, we could see either Nunu or Scion engage here. There's the Scion all coming Scion. out. And the Sivir actually spell shields it. The Corky packages in. Corky flashes. Too hard, though. Sivir manages Velkov's to survive. And the Orin is in the middle. And Velkov. And the Orin's oh, actually. Wisconsin. Might take the Scion down. Leona flashes in, goes for the knock. The Orin comes in. Leona actually managed it, actually dies to the Scion Corpse. 
So almost even trades Sion except for that SRG Sion... gets one more. Sion manages to take down the Sivir and the Leona there, which is rather unfortunate. Definitely, yeah. Still a good trade, a 2 for 3. They're actually going to try to go for the Velcog here. Too. Nunu pushes in. And the Lucian actually takes him down with an ultimate. Very so a 3 for 3 trade here. Is the Nunu going to try and go for the Orn? I think Orn's actually going to catch Nunu. Nunu doesn't want to push in on it. Valkos still down on SRU, so it looks like both teams are gonna... Or it looks like Wisconsin University is actually looking for a Baron, maybe. Look at the um, Sivir, though. Definitely a big difference from the previous game. With double digits, now only two kills and ten deaths, so... Two kills, six deaths. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> A rookie mistake. And the Leona ult comes down and the Nami goes down. Lucian having to run away. And take it back, Gillen's going in. <laughs> I see you's looking to siege here with the mana bear. Extensive wave clear. that pressure on the next tower. Oh, taking out the ward. We might see SRU getting some vision here for the Barra. I want to bait something here. Uh, yeah. Now it looks like it's Wisconsin University starting to clear out some warts or maybe set up. I wonder if they're going to try and bait me too. And now we see SRU coming back around to clear out some more. It's a ward battle. Both team, both teams just idly dancing around Baron. Really. SRU still has that 2k. A big chunk of damage coming out on that Corky from the Nami ult comes down. A Sivir spell shields it, and the Nami almost goes down there. The Orn ult coming out, nothing happens. Doesn't connect. Wisconsin backs out after that Orn ult. Few ultimates coming out there. The Orn ult and the Nami ult. Might see both teams go for this next dragon. Leona getting knocked out by the Scion. Yeah, Nunu pushing in. Er, sorry, Nami. So, it looks like we have a Mountain Drake this time. And Wisconsin University might be looking for the dragon. Well, SRU might be going for the Aaron. Wisconsin University starts the dragon. But it looks like... It looks like the Nunu's gonna stay on it. But the rest of the team's gonna peel off and head towards Baron. I don't think be able to get it though. Sion coming out. The Nunu grabs the dragon a big Velkos chunk of it. actually uses his ult. And the, and the Velkos takes down the Nami with his ultimate. Blocks them off completely. Wisconsin University did manage to secure the Mountain Drake though. And the Lucian ult coming down doing quite a bit of damage. That's getting true, absolutely but Gillen goes up. in. Lots and of the damage. Orc comes out, knocking them up. Oh, Nami is a nice four man knockup. The Lucian goes down. All that's left is Thion. Amazing push. The SRU is you. gonna go for Baron here, it looks like. Really great denying that from Wisconsin. Really nice team fight. 
And this Baron is actually going to get destroyed. Baron goes down for SRU, and it looks like they're gonna re like reset here. Stopwatch purchase coming out for the Sivir here. It's gonna be really interesting to see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Not too much going on here. Lucian and Corky trying to clear out the Baron minions mid lane. I think SRU is just gonna wait till Wisconsin starts to clear out a little bit. SRU is actually able to get the mid tower. Yeah, the double demolish second. coming out again this game. It looks like some poke is coming down from the side of SRU. They really want to siege down this tower. But it looks like they're getting pushed back a bit. The poke coming out from both sides. Nice damage. I saw you actually has two cannon minions right now. One going down. Looks like they still have one though. Yeah, and that cannon minion is going to be safely out of range of the tap. It looks like the Scion's going to knock it up. It might take it's it. At least a little bit. Almost, oh, almost, almost taking the down the Scion. And it looks like SEU is going to finally get this inhibitor. I think they're, yeah, they're going to go for the inhibitor yeah. too. And Nunu has to push back. The Ornult coming out. Oh, the Ornult, he's gonna going to get the Nunu. Ahead. And the Nunu goes down to the server. The Cyan ult comes out. The Shivana ult comes out. The Redemption comes down for Wisconsin University. The Leona is still in there. Lucian's doing a lot of damage. Ooh. Leona goes in for the Lucian. The Lucian goes down to the Velkaz. And the Velkaz is actually going to go out to the power yeah. The Cyan is going to go down. Will he get the Orn though? Your one's gonna get out. And that's gonna be a three for three trade. SRU did get two towers and an inhibit inhibitor. Ah, whoa. Inhib inhibitor. Inhibitor. <laughs> Mild seizure alert. Hello. And it looks like Sarah's gonna take the blue buff, and it looks like they're gonna try to use the last bit of their Baron to try to get maybe another tower top lane. Corky's rotating up to stop this though. Will he be enough? Probably not. Honestly. It looks like SAU just wants to back off now and they don't want to push it. They have the CS difference. I mean, literally, it's like 7k. <laughs> yeah, the gold difference is 7k right now. Big advantage. It's not for looking good for Wisconsin. Nah, Wisconsin is having quite a bit of trouble dealing with wave clear and poke that SAU has going on. Yeah, it really seemed like they had the early game, but now for late game, SRU is picking it up. <sighs> Another dragon coming up soon in five seconds, so we're gonna probably see SRU look. I think that's Leona with a thousand gold bounty. That's Sivir. That CS difference, oh boy. Oh, that is Sivir, yeah. And it looks like the Ocean Drake is going to go down. So the Ocean Drake bonus is actually going to keep it out between the two. Both teams might collide here. Orky getting some nice damage onto the Leona. I 
Soryu is going to be holding towards top lane. Could they be trying to go for that tower? I think the Nami is going to realize that Wisconsin is starting to recognize what's going on. And SRU is going to get that first tower. Let me see, we're in match to Sky on bot lane. Well, four members of Wisconsin, uh, Wisconsin University and SRU bot lane. Here's where we see SRU, Siege, and Wave player really coming in. Clearing the waves easily with Belkaz and Sivir. Being able to get some nice poke off. Belkaz comes out onto the Corky. Not quite killing him. We see Orin and Sion duking it out down bot lane. I'm just gonna be distracting the Sion for now. Looks like is backing, backing off. They might yeah. want to go for this Baron that's coming up. Probably. We'll they the might bait it. Wisconsin University doesn't have any vision of it at all. They're probably going to be assuming the worst. Oh, and here they are. Come on, Nunu. Nunu. Nunu gets absolutely destroyed. Washington MVP University coming off of backs Orn. off. They're going to go straight for this Baron. And there's going to be no contesting it with the enemy jungle around. I don't think they're going to be warding back. Oh, they are actually. So SRU has another Baron to siege with, and this could be the final blow. Probably, actually. I wonder if they're going to try and go again for mid lane, considering that they do have the inhibitor taken down there. But I think Wisconsin University is realizing this. This is basically their last last chance, last redemption. They're going to really have to get rid of this Baron fast if they want to keep their base alive. Although the inhibitor is coming up soon mid lane. Is SRU going to go top lane? Or bot lane? <laughs> One of the lanes. They're gonna choose something. They're gonna go in. Shivana almost gets And it picked. looks like the Cyan ult coming out onto the Velkaz. The Orn ult coming out. The Shivana ult coming out. The Orn ult connecting oh, with damage. four members Velkaz of the enemy team. Velkaz almost taking down the Cyan with his ultimate. Looks like Azure is going to continue the siege bot lane. But this tower is going to go down. Backing off from the tower. SRU does have a big health difference with the University of Wisconsin. They might try and want to back off. Silver might get picked off actually, going in a little bit too greedy. At yeah, least. stay. And the Sivir is actually quite far ahead of their team, without too much backup there. I think she wanted to try and get the inhibitor. It looks like the inhibitor is going to go down for SRU. And the Sivir ult coming down. And she, uh, the Velcro gets the Corky. The Corky goes down to Sivir. The Sivir is absolutely destroying them right now. Lucian is trading back onto Leona. The Leona goes, Leona goes down, and the Sivir trade is trading out with them, and the Sivir doesn't oh, the quite Orn get down. Getting... The Orn ult coming out and actually taking, and the Nami goes down. They're gonna get one of the towers. One Nexus go tower the goes down, and the second Nexus tower goes down. This, this is gonna, be be, this is gonna be it. SRU wins the second game. Of taking the match two games to zero. Wow. SRU super strong. Unstoppable.